Hello guys and welcome to another of my video. My name is Tony. In this video I'm gonna talk about uh, the experience with the German Blue Rams. I'm new to this. It's only a month that I got these beautiful guys and they already breed or at least they are trying to do so and I'm so happy about it. As you can see, look at that, how many eggs there are on the top of this uh, pink stone and the male is already on the top of them and is uh, checking and protecting them 24 7 doesn't move from there and i noticed that uh, both of them male and female they became really really defensive toward the tongue mates which in this case are only two albino curry cuts but they don't allow them to stay nearby the nest the nest and now I got more knowledge about uh, male and female. It's really easy for me to distinguish the male from the female because when I bought it they were really young but now they reached the, the maturity and you can tell easily that this one for example is a female. You can see the pink uh, col coloration that she got uh, on the belly also the side is definitely smaller compared to the male and I noticed that the dorsal fin or in general the fin are smaller and more uh, rounded compared to the male which the male let's see if I can show you the dorsal fin but in general all the fin are more sharp compared to the female and definitely longer and is bigger inside and this is you know can be a little bit challenging in captivity because in captivity there is not much different in coloration between the male and the female and but but then you will uh, get used to it you will uh, be able to distinguish male and female the thing that i noticed but this is my uh, personal opinion uh, many people say that as you can see the big black black spot that they got on the back is um, one of the main key to distinguish male and female because the female apparently for many people um, they say that um, in the black spot you will find some reflecting blue scales I'm to talking about the female whilst in the male as you can see the big black spot is without any reflecting blue scales in the middle but in my case for example this one is a female but she doesn't have any reflecting blue scales on in the middle of the black spot but is definitely a female another thing that I notice is that um, there is different between male and female on the shape of the front head the, the male got more uh, an important um, front head is more strong and whilst the female she got more like is more delicate I don't know how to, to say in English sorry but the front head is a little bit smaller and I've noticed this is I think is um, a particular that all the German blue rams, at least in Spain, they they have is the, the in the front head the female, for example, she got two separate uh, little black spots. I don't know if you can see. Sorry about my camera because my camera doesn't work, so I'm I'm using my mobile, and I don't know if I can show you. She got I was saying two little black spots, which they are separate in the middle whilst the male got only one big black spot that take all the front head let's see if we move a little bit maybe I can show you but there is you know like it's really really uh, you know like uh, focus on the eggs on the new job is a uh, parents I think is a uh, a new challenge for them because they were really young it's the first time that they breed so hopefully I'm gonna succeed with the breeding 
I know that the, maybe they need to try more than once to to be able to to breed properly but it's definitely a good start because they are willing to do to do so so I'm sure that eventually they will uh, succeed so now if I can give you some advice uh, regarding these uh, beautiful guys the first advice is as uh, as far as I know and I check on internet on on my books and also on other channel on YouTube is that it's really difficult to find in captivity two healthy German blue rums so my advice is when you buy when you decide to buy these guys ask the guys from the in the from the pet store if they can keep a pair for you apart in another tank for about 15 days and if after 15 days they are still alive and uh, still in good condition uh, you can uh, definitely buy them because it means that they are quite strong and they are in a good health so you can buy them and bring them home another advice is if you keep these guys in a community tank definitely it's better to provide a to move them to a breeding tanks like in this case this one is not really big but it got everything for them the um, the landscape for sure is gonna promote the breeding as you can see there are plenty of live plants and also i put these uh, flat stones that they promote them to to breed so if they feel secure in them environment and they already form a pair for sure they will uh, they will breed another advice is to provide to them uh, some uh, good uh, quality of food tropical uh, flakes for example i use this one they are from Sarah. I think the name is uh, Vipan in English, I guess. And in Spanish is Vipan. This one is uh, is a really good uh, quality of uh, flakes. Also, I use for them uh, some um, frozen blood worms just to make sure that they eat, you know, really good protein and live food and this one i think all these little tips they will uh, promote the breeding for for me for my opinion okay guys so this is all for today i hope you enjoy uh, my video as i I'm, I'm doing because i'm so happy to you know to have the chance to observe this behavior they are fantastic uh, because uh, male and female they really care about them babies and they guide them until they grow so for um, for the um, the big channel and for people they already experienced the breeding uh, of this fish please the comment are really welcome they advise if you if you know something that i can do if you think if it's better to remove uh, in this case the the quarry cut to another tank temporarily to help them to you know to breed in a good way or any type of food any type of opinion or advice that you can give me are really welcome okay guys this is all for today and see you soon hopefully with the little german blue rums bye